Engagement for me means being with the public or patients in all the work that we do. Uh, the word engagement means uh, really hearing people's voices. I suppose what I think it means is, is a conversation that has an effect. It's basically the other side of the story. Without engaging with people, we only have one point of view, and that's obviously the professional point of view. Collaborative working is how I would uh, define it. It means involving our population in decisions we make about commissioning and the quality of services that are being delivered by the providers. Not just about having the conversations, it's about listening and actually responding to what people are saying. And once there's that level of trust, I think that's, that's, a, that's proper engagement as far as I'm concerned. We should be engaging with everybody that we can think of really and I think the most important people for us are our local population and our local communities. Everybody, absolutely everybody. As many cross sections of the population of the CCG that we can. Pretty well everybody that has uh, always impacted by what the CCG does, including other CCGs around us as well. Well, it's tempting to say everybody, isn't it? But that's not realistic. Um, so I think it needs to prioritise um, its engagement activity. Uh, I think engagement is so wide um, that what we do affects everyone and therefore we need to work out the best way that we can engage with the people that we're affecting. So it's about the right issues and about prioritising those people who otherwise wouldn't have their voices heard. Staff engagement is as important as the patient engagement. I think it's about developing that kind of internal narrative so everything kind of gets joined up and we've got the same, the same story. I think the hard bit for an organisation is the time that it takes. I think we probably feel we haven't got time to go through the process of engagement because we're always under such pressure to just implement things very, very quickly. One of the key things that um, come across time and time again is timing. And I also think probably a fear of how, how do you actually go about engaging. I think it's some, something that's something maybe that I've held on to myself is the sort of fear of the unknown or what the unexpected and things that you can and can't control. There are lots of challenges and barriers. I don't think there's anything that's insurmountable provided you prepare for it. There are some hard to reach groups in any population uh, and it's difficult sometimes to get those people involved. So I think that's probably one of the biggest challenges. It never ceases to amaze me how much time and effort and ideas regular folk are prepared to give to try and help influence things and make things better, not just for themselves but for those around them and I think that's an incredible resource that we've got here and we should be really, really proud and humbled by it. I think that people haven't necessarily fully understood um, the importance of it and I think that's, that's, um, that's a mistake. Engagement is hard, I think. Well, it's not hard. It is and it isn't. I think you've just got to be open to the fact that you're going to be challenged. Uh, it's hard to do because sometimes you hear answers you don't want to hear. I think it's hard, but it's very rewarding. I think it's both. I, I, don't, I don't think there, there's ever going to be something that's going to be truly easy because you need to have those real conversations. It's hard when you've got a challenging message to put across. So if it's something that you don't think that you can do anymore or that you might want to stop doing for whatever reason, that's, that's a real challenge. And I think it's really nuanced about how you, you get that, you get that right. I think that what is important is to be open, is to be honest. And I think that then actually will always make it easier. But once you kind of get into the flow of it and understanding, building up contacts and relationships and, and doing it, I think actually it can become easier and once you're doing it well, then I think that will inform everything you're doing, so it makes everything else a bit easier. Just because it's hard doesn't mean we should, we should shy away from it. Sometimes we need to rise to the challenge, and the more practice we get, the less scary it is. How do we know we got it right? Uh, predominantly around whether we get some response at all, but actually what that response tells us, because I think if that response tells us what we want to hear, and sometimes that doesn't mean engagement is totally right. I sometimes think it's very rare that you hear good feedback, so I kind of think, well, if you've done it badly, you'll hear about it. <laughs> People are pretty honest about whether they think that they've been listened to and you've, you've 
engaged them, you know, whether you've captured their attention and their imagination. So I think you can, you know, if you're doing, doing it well, if you could end up somewhere different than you would have ended up otherwise. And if you hear that from people, if people are interested in talking to you about healthcare, if they want to get involved, they've got things to say, if they, if they build their understanding and they challenge you, then I think you've done it well. Success is that you've, you've engaged, you've, you've listened, and actually what you've come out with is what people have said that they want. You will know if you've got it right, purely and simply because, because those conversations, those responses have truly helped to shape the, um, the services that, um, that you are actually trying to develop.